Hi everyone, for this assignment you are going to read a short article and then identify similarities and differences between the article and the story Cask of Amontillado. So go ahead and click on this link and it will download the article which looks like this. So this article is called The Story Behind the Cask of Amontillado and it's by Edward Rowe Snow. So you're going to read through this article and um, learn a little bit more about Poe's inspiration for the story Cask of Amontillado. Poe often wrote about um, things that were happening in his life and fictionalized them or other events that were going on. So it was pretty common, like we saw in the um, documentary that we watched about him, it was pretty common for him to take inspiration from real life events and then put that into his story. So you're going to read through this and you're going to be looking for three similarities and three differences. And there are plenty, there's more than that. So you shouldn't have a hard time finding those. Then you're going to come to this assignment and you are going to um, list the three similarities and differences and you want to use complete sentences. So you could either do a Google Doc or a text entry. Personally, I like to do a Google Doc just because then it saves my work just in case anything happens, but it's up to you. It is a pretty um, short assignment, so I would recommend a Google Doc, but you can use a text entry if you prefer. So all you would really have to do uh, for this, you don't have to write a paragraph or anything like that. So even if you wanted to just do, you know, bullet points or numbers or something like that, you could say, you know, one similarity is, and then list what that similarity is. I can't spell today. Okay, um, another similarity is the last similarity is, okay? And then you could do the same thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, and then you could do the same thing for differences. One difference is another difference is a third difference is. Okay, so it doesn't have to be written in a paragraph or anything, but you do need to use complete sentences. So don't just write, you know, same time period or something because that's not a complete sentence. If you have questions, just let us know.